The current state of the law prior to the NDAA, the National Defense Authorization Act, was that a person who was not a citizen of this country could be detained here in this country without charge if the government determined that they were at war uh, with the United States, taking up arms against the United States. The case for the United States citizen was that if someone was arrested, detained by, by the military, or held by the military, who was a United States citizen, that they could not be held indefinitely without charge, unless there was, they had the right, this person being held, to something called habeas corpus. In other words, they could, the right to go to federal court with a lawyer provided by the government for them, like any other citizen, and have a case, a trial, a hearing, better, better put, before a federal judge, where the government would have to make the case that this person, by a preponderance of the evidence, was in fact engaged in the activity that they were claimed to be engaged in. That is the state of the law prior to the signing of the National Defense Authorization Act. When I inquired about this, because I got questions about this in the past, I called a senator and I asked them, what are you guys doing? Because it seems like you're not, you're changing the law. What he told me was, what they intended to do was not change the law because it was a court uh, ruling as opposed to a statute. Because the state of the law was determined by courts, not by a statute. They wanted to put that court ruling into a statute. And from what I hear from people, it is not clear that those rights attach. I would simply say that under my administration, we will make it very clear that no American citizen can be held without first having the right to go to court and have and then be adjudicated to be, in fact, a threat to the country. But if, in fact, they are a threat to the country and a court so finds, then I think we have a right to hold them. That person still has a right to go back to the court and with another petition and so on, just like any other person in America. So that's, that's what I understand is the, that, that the current state of the law is before National Defense Authorization Act, and I would maintain the current state of the law.